Breaking news, Governor Babajide Sanwolu to perform groundbreaking of the biggest children's hospital in Africa. This is the kind of news we want to hear. This is the breaking news we want to hear about. This is the kind of thing that should be going on across the 36 straight states of the Federation, not the president of a country they be dishing out or bailing out to go and you know take care of his own health leave others to wallow in the space called despair you know whether if they want to die they should die is not his business if they want to leave they should leave is not his business you know that's okay that's the that kind of person he is that he was never born a leader he was actually a fraud somebody who has no business being in that current kind of position that is there this is the kind of news we want to hear Let's get all the details and understand what Babajide Sanwolu is currently doing. This is awesome. Breaking news. Sanwolu to perform groundbreaking of biggest children hospital in Africa. Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Sanwolu is set to unveil iconic project with the groundbreaking of New Mercy Street Children's Hospital built to be the biggest in Africa as his Marxist administration's second year anniversary in office from Tuesday, April the 27th. Governor Sanwolu will also commission other projects in health, education, transportation, housing, and other sectors. The State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Omotoshon made the disclosure in a statement made available to newsmen why relying out relaying out the programs lined up for Sanwolu's second year anniversary in office. According to Omotoshon, the series of activities which will feature mid-term reports will begin with media briefing of ministries, departments, agencies of government, ADAs regarding accounts of their achievements in the past two years as well as media interviews and interactions of key members of the state executive council including the deputy governor dr kaduri obafemi say such was packaged to unveil how governor sanwolu has gone in his journey from a greater lagos this is the main question that will be answered as the administration mark its second year anniversary from Tuesday, April the 27th. Mr. Sanwolu and Deputy Governor Obafemi mounted the saddle on May 29, 2019. A series of activities have been put together to showcase the administration performance and impact on Lagosians, the commissioner has said. The midterm report will begin with briefing by ministry, department, agencies, government, relaying out accounts and the achievement in the past two years so far. Events of the second year will include Babajide answering media interview interaction with, with key stakeholders in Lagos State, exclusive counsel, including others will have question and will be able to speak with the governor. The groundbreaking of the new Mercy Street children's hospital which is billed to be the biggest in africa will be performed by mr governor new children's and housing units will be commissioned he added omoto Shon said the activities will be not be all about what had been achieved by the governor under San Wulu within the period, as the governor will be offering Lagosians a glimpse into the future, which he often prefers to say, hashtag A Greater Lagos by unveiling new projects, which his administration will build to make life more comfortable for citizens. This was just as he listed some of the projects already completed by San Wolu since he took over office to include commissioning of the Till Moa Road and Link Bridge at Lagos Ogun state boundary that cuts across Elamokbo 
and other area 1.4 kilometer dual carriage Peng cinema bridge among others last week the matter i mean last week i mean since last week there have been uh programs ongoing and um, preparation towards this all awaited event so this is what sanwolu is doing very welcoming you know when the governor is performing we are not only reporting to you all the evils and atrocity going on in the society we are also here to let you know the good things that are going on in nigeria the governors that are performing who they are what they are doing and how we can also support them to ensure that they continue to perform and do well right by the people and continue to do well you know when a parent is always very critic very critic very always criticizing the child you make the child lose self confidence and that child may not really be you know attracted and want to stay with you as he should as he would have loved to why your words are always piercing every time they come close but when your words are not only piercing yes your words are not only repelling with regards to evil being done but your words are also welcoming congratulatory and very encouraging whenever something good has been done guess what you are a balanced parents you are not the one who uh, they say all oh, all play all uh, work and no play makes jack a very dull boy but when jack plays and he works and there is a thorough balance jack can actually be is prepared okay to face life square on having thorough balance on all sides this is what we are talking about. This is what we are talking about. When someone comes into administration, what do you what what plans do you have in place to ensure that things are done so that people in that administration can actually, you know, feel the dividends of democracy and are ready to take on life squarely and say, Thank God we had this person. I can look back and say, when we had Mr. PT as the governor of this state. This and this and this and this was, I mean, was the was the hallmark of his administration. The administration was so one of the best we've ever had. And we are grateful and will continue to be grateful. You know, when we have such things in place, guess what? Other governors will want to follow suit to ensure that things are done decently and in order. And before you know it, Nigeria is becoming a better place. But where there is no right government, where we, what we have is uh, people who, who are not challenged, they are just there trying to, my dear, you know where, you see. Leave us a comment. Let's hear from you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye for now.